I had this horrific nightmare where my worst fear came true. I was forced to sit through Divergent. Oh no! It was real! Divergent is the latest best-selling book series film adaptation specifically designed for tween and teen girls starring a female heroine out to save her family and community. Clearly the idea here is to duplicate the incredible successes of the Hunger Games and Twilight franchises. But make no mistake, Divergent isn't remotely as entertaining and effective as those films. In a post-apocalyptic world, with Chicago as the only city that remains, Beatrice, played by the descendant Shailene Woodley, must decide what she wants to do for the rest of her life. She and all the other young adults get to choose among five different jobs or factions, with everyone divided into neighborhoods based on personality traits. Beatrice goes against her family and chooses to join the Dauntless group. These are the fighters, the police force for the community. But everyone also undergoes an aptitude test, which is supposed to tell you which group to pick. The test reveals that Triss, the name she adopts when she joins the cool faction, is divergent, meaning she's a combination of multiple factions. Triss can't tell anyone her true identity because divergents threaten the system. If city leader Janine, Kate Winslet, or any of her henchmen find a divergent, there seem to be a lot of them around even though we're told they're rare, he or she is killed on the spot. So. For a painfully drawn out two hours and 20 minutes, we watch Triss go through endless training sequences, numerous dream scenes which rival the amount in Inception, and change from thoughtful teenager to violent killing machine. This script lacks any imagination or surprises, and attempting to make sense of all the ridiculous details in the lifeless plot would be wasting your time and mine. Four. He's gone. And we're all safer for it. Safer? How are we safer? The brilliance of the faction system is that conformity to the faction removes the threat of anyone exercising their independent will. Divergence threatened that system. It was tough not to burst out laughing several times thanks to Woodley's numerous needle injections to the neck, the ridiculous MMA-style fighting sequences, and Winslet's over-the-top performance as the evil villain. I can't imagine fans of the book staying engaged for the duration. As for everyone else, I borrow a line from the poet Robert Frost. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. If either of those roads is taking you to a theater showing Divergent, turn around and go the other way. On the official LCJ report card, Divergent gets a D+. I'm Lights Camera Jackson. For all the latest news and movie reviews, you can go to lights-camera-jackson.com and follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews.